right, so we're asked to find the relative extrema. And so the first thing we're going to do is take the derivative. So f prime x is equal to, so we take the 2, bring it out front, and then minus c. So at this point, you're supposed to know how to take the derivative. If not, you need to see previous sections. All right, then what we're going to do is set it equal to 0. And solve for x. And so we take the 8, bring it over, makes it positive 8. Then we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1 eighth. And therefore, x, just write it over here, x will be equal to negative 1. Then what we're going to do is uh, draw a number line. And we're going to uh, take negative 1, and I'll just put it here. All right, and then we're going to pick our test points. So you can pick any number to the left of negative 1, any number you choose. Uh, I'll choose something easy like negative 2. And I'll pick a number to the right of negative 1, 0. Like I said, you can choose any number you want, but uh, choose something easy because you're going to have to plug these back into the derivative. So now we're going to take negative 2 and plug it into the derivative. So f prime of negative 2 is negative 8 times negative 2 minus 8. Now, all we care about is the sign. So we have a negative 8 times negative 2. That's 16, and 16 minus 8 is a positive number. So that's all I care about is if it's a positive number. Then we're going to plug 0 in to the derivative. So negative 8 times 0 minus 8. So negative 8 times 0 is 0. Then you have a minus 8. So that's negative. And I'm going to indicate that this function is decreasing from negative infinity up to negative 1. And then it's increasing. Uh-oh. I made a mistake. Okay, that's easily done math. All right, uh, because we have a positive sign here, the function is increasing, right, up to negative 1. And because this is negative, that means that the function is decreasing from negative 1 to infinity. And, of course, we find the points on the graph, and that means that we're going to have to take uh, negative 1 and plug it back into the original. So f of negative 1 is equal to negative 4 times negative 1 squared minus 8 times negative 1 plus 2. And of course, we will have this uh, value here. So negative 4 times negative 1 squared is just negative 4. And negative 8 minus 1 is a positive 8. So we have negative 4 plus 8, which is going to give us 4. And 4 plus 2 is 6. So the point on the graph, which happens to be a relative maximum, that point is negative 1, 6. So you want to try graphing this function out and then taking a close look at it. And you should see that it should have a relative max at negative 1, 6.